to you two Tennessee colleagues for leading this effort, and if all 98 other senators were speaking up on this subject, we'd probably have get something done in regard to it. Well, you've heard all about the fact that Americans facing violent crime wave, especially in our blue cities. Compared to 2019, repeating what Senator Blackburn said, 50% increase in murders, 36% increase in assaults. This is all because of progressive pro-criminal prosecutors and radical bail reforms and defunding of police, fueling the spike in crime that we're all repeatedly telling you about because it lets repeat uh, criminals go unpunished and in some cases even uncharged. Majority of violent crimes are committed by just a relatively small number of people, tend to be repeat offenders. And what we heard from these Tennessee colleagues, the recent tragedy in Memphis, the dangers that families face at the hands of these repeat and chronic criminals is pretty clear. Federal law enforcement can do more, and you heard how Senator Blackburn tends to uh, work towards that direction with new legislation. In July, I introduced a bill entitled Combating Violent and Dangerous Crimes, meant to make it easier for federal prosecutors to go after murders and carjackings. This bill has 26 Republican co-sponsors, the House has a forthcoming companion bill. I urge my Democrat colleagues to join this effort to fight violent crime, because in a bipartisan way, we can get more done. Thank you.